Hey guys, it's Trigal here, back with another video. So in this video, I want to show you guys how to make geometrical text effect in Adobe Photoshop GS6. As you guys already see in the beginning of the video, yep, that is it. The text effect that we will make in this video. So yeah, without waiting for too long, let's get into this tutorial. So yeah, as usual, we'll need a new canvas in a new document. But what makes this text effect different from the previous is you need to make pattern first. So before you jump to the blending mode in the text and things like that, you will need to make the pattern first. So yeah, let's make the pattern. To make a pattern, you will need a new document. To make it press ctrl n on your keyboard and boom the dialog box shown up now change the present to custom because we will need to we will need to customize the present and change all this format to pixels for the resolution change it to pixel centimeter we will not use pixel inch we will use pixel centimeter and because you want to make a solid square pattern we will change the width into 500 and the height to 502 so we got it square not rectangle and for the resolution as usual we will use 28.346 and now it's all done after adjusting all of this new document setting press enter or click ok and as you can see, we got a square canvas over here. First thing but not last, change the foundation layer to layer 0. Why should we change it? Because we want to edit the canvas. We want to, co to put color in this canvas. That's why we need to change it so it be editable. So now, change the foreground color into 0000013A and there you get dark blue which is kinda good after that press enter or click ok there you go your foreground color is changed to dark blue now press alt plus delay it in your keyboard to apply the foreground color to, to all of your canvas and as you can see, our canvas changed color from white to dark blue. Now, we will play a little bit with the inner glow. So, right click in the layer and click blending option. Now, check the inner glow tab. You don't need to change anything else except for the size and for the color. For the color, you will need to change it to 00FFCC. You get a light blue color over there. Press enter or click OK. And then change the size to 51. And click OK. Now our pattern is done. There is only one problem left. This image is not been set as a pattern. So, how can we set this image as a pattern? Easy. You just need to click in this edit tab and then define pattern. If you want to make this as brush press it, it's all okay. But for this time, we'll make this as pattern. So, we'll click define pattern and name it whatever you want. For this time, I'll, for the sake of the tutorial, I will name it tutorial maybe one. After that, press enter or click OK. Then it's been set as pattern right now. Okay, the pattern is now done. Now we'll need to make the text. To make the text, we'll need a new document and a new canvas. So yeah, press Ctrl N and the dialog box appear again 
This time, you don't need to change anything else. What you need to change is the width to 1280 and then the height to 720. There you go. So we got some rectangle shape. If you guys watched the previous video of mine in the Photoshop tutorial, I will always use this size i don't know why it's just fit with my style and don't change the resolution by the way and this all of this format after done with the setting click ok or press enter in your keyboard and as you can see over here our new canvas is shape rectangle for this time you, you will not need to change this foundation layer to layer zero just let it lock um, so now you need to change the canvas color you know this color to black so how could you do that so it's easy you need to set the foreground color and the background color to default how can I do that easy press shift plus D in your keyboard and boom it's changed color now get back to the um, you know previous step press alt D plus delete in your keyboard and boom your canvas change color and now we are done with the canvas we will get into the text for the text itself we will need a perfect dark font this is perfect dark font you can download it in the font or a or um a thousand and one font font is all free and yeah it's, it's, it's really good fun for this one I recommend I, I highly recommend this one and you want to change the font size into 271 pt and change the color to white so take the white color and click ok after that type whatever thing you want as long as it fit with it so yeah I will type for this time name and put it in the middle of this canvas boom now we are done with the um, text position and now we will get into the lamest and the most boring part but also the most satisfying part in making this text effect blending so without waiting for too long let's get into the blending to get into the blending, right click in this layer, in, the, in this text, of, text layer, and then click blending option. Here, you will check like almost all of this box, except for the texture. So, let's start with the bevel and emboss. You will need to change the style into pillow emboss. And then you keep the technique as smooth. You change the depth into 286 after that change the size into 8 keep the soften at 0 change the glass counter into cone inverted so if this is if this is cone this is cone inverted you can see this is cone inverted and then for the highlight mode um, you change Bending mode, you know, the, the highlight mode, you change it to an overlay and the opacity 100. For the color, you want to change the highlight mode color into 6 to the 5 ff. There you will get a um, even more lighter blue color and then press, uh, press enter. After that, for the shadow mode, you keep the shadow mode multiplied, but the opacity you rise it to 100, and the color you change it to 0, 0, 1, 5, 9, 6. And there you get some, you know, medium blue, not light, not dark. And then press enter or click OK. For the bevel and emboss, we are done. Now check the counter. Check the counter and change the counter 
into con inverted then change the range into 60 and we are done with the buffalo and boss and all its sun and now check the stroke tab for the stroke tab you will keep the size in 3 and the position outside because you, if you change it to inside or into center then it will ruin all of your work and change the blend mode into lighter color where is it lighter color um there you go lighter color um and then change the color into 0066ff and there you got like a uh, transition color from light blue to dark blue and then press enter or click ok and now check the inner shadow tab for the inner shadow tab you want to change the blend mode into normal change the color into 0, 0, 2, 6, b 2 and there you got the medium blue again click ok or press enter and then rise the opacity to 100% change the distance to 10 and change the size to 10 and also change this contour the contour to con so this if this is con inserted this is con the original con and then check the inner glow tab in the inner glow tab change the blend mode into overlay change the opacity to 100 the noise you keep it at zero the color will change it to zero four six c e d there you got a transition color again and then just press enter or click ok so that um you want to change the size to 27 then you will let the counter add linear and nothing else to change and now check the satin satin is one of the most powerful effect and one of the most impact blending in this text effect so you need to take a little bit serious for the satin this time for the satin you want the opacity keep at 50 the blend mode keep it multiply but we want to change the color into 0, 0, 26 cc there you got a medium blue again and then press enter or click ok after that um, change the size to 24 and you want to keep the counter at gaussian don't change it it's already in the good position so you don't need to change it and now check the color check the color of lay tab in the color of lay overlay um, change the opacity 23 keep your band mode at normal and change the color into 18 0, 0, 8, 8. there you got like purple bluish over there and then click ok after that, check the gradient overlay. In the gradient overlay, you want to keep the blend mode at normal, and then you want the opacity to be in 13, and the scale to 62. And then check the pattern overlay. For the pattern overlay, you want the opacity to keep at 100%, and you want to change the pattern so I have made a couple pattern over here but we will use the pattern that we we made just now so yeah um, select the pattern that you just make and change the scale don't forget this change the scale to 8 
and then check the outer glow box in the outer glow you want to change the blend mode into linear dodge after that change the opacity to 96 then you want to keep the noise at zero change the color to 00 00406 f there you go at like um i don't know name transition color again but a little bit darker and then press enter after that you want to keep the spread at zero but the size you want to change it to 29 so you got that glowing effect in your text effect and then change the counter into cove deep this is cove deep counter it looks kind of weird but trust me it will be better you want to keep the range at 50 and jitter at 0 oh wait i'm sorry i'm bad now the last effect drop shadow check the drop shadow box change the blend mode into normal change the color into um, 001 AFF there you go like media core bluetooth and then just press enter in your keyboard or click ok for the opacity you want to change it to 34 it's so far you, you reduce it so bad and then the distance you want to make it 11 spread you made it 5 and size you made it 32 you will keep the counter as linear and not doing anything with the noise and after all of this click ok and boom this is the text effect might not look so good at first but trust me once you add some background and some glowing effect boom it will be so beautiful and it's, it will work like 20 minutes that you used to watch this video so yeah now one of the final step we will make the background so if you see the uh, geometrical background um, behind this text yep we'll make it now so the first thing you need to do to make the uh, background is clicking in this foundation layer and create a new layer in this layer we will setting it up first the first thing you need to setting up is blending mode um, just right click on it and click blending option in the blending option tab you want to check the pattern overlay the pattern overlay you change the pattern to the pattern that you just make it just now change the pattern and change the scale into 3 not 8 but 3 and then add some outer glow you know add some outer glow to make it like maybe more realistic or more lovely and then change the color into 0, 0, 0, 0, 5, Five yeah, fifty-two, and that is it for the brush. And yeah, I I just want to say that to make it, you will need a thousand and one brush preset. You can download this brush free fr free in brushz.com. Go there, check it out. I put the link in the description. You can download the text and you can download the brush just check out the link in the description so i will use this star brush to you know um making the background for the background for the background making i will speed it up because it does not really important you can make whatever you want with the background but uh you know i will just make the uh, example for it so okay let's go let's make the background and also don't forget to um and also just to uh, uh, remembering you you make sure the opacity and the flow is a uh, is in a hundred percent so yeah let's make the background
so yeah this is the background that i made you guys can make the background whatever you want this is just my creation or my imagination you can make it even more cooler with your imagination but yeah this is for just for example and now just one final thing to do is you know to give them a little bit glowy effect so to give them a little bit glowy effect you need to uh, you know um, click in this layer again and create a new layer and make sure this is the, the one this is, this is in the top of the founding layer and <coughs> behind the brush layer so for this layer you will need to just take the br a br this brush and change the brush preset to normal brush but soften it so you, you, you will need this softened it um, brush which is which which have zero hard, hard hardness that we don't even need and you also want to change the opacity to 34 and change the flow to 20 and also don't forget to change this color the brush the foreground color to 0, 0, 0, 0, 52 and there you got a dark blue again we just spamming the same color every single time trust me if you watch this video really really focus then you will realize i just spam the color all the time <laughs> so doesn't really matter actually and then press enter and cl or click ok press enter and now you can add the glow in the glowness in everywhere you want for my example in this video i will put it in you know in the border of this background so it's kind of look good but you can put it whatever you want whatever you want everywhere you can put it everywhere you can even give them something that more cooler it ups to you so what i give here is just an example so yeah. So yeah, this is it, the example of my glowness. And that also end the tutorial here. You can see what a beautiful good looking handsome texture and lovely text effect. So yeah. I think that is for the video i hope you guys all enjoyed the video and i really hope this will help you out and yeah remember this you guys don't need to follow all thing the same as me you can edit it whatever you want so if it's in the middle of the tutorial and you see like oh why you, do, you you don't add this and or why you don't give this color you want to change the color that you think it's better than this do it don't try to develop i only give the standard that i found so if you want to develop it it's up to you yeah hope you all enjoyed this work see you in the next video bye bye project it